What's up, everybody? Ben Reza here for Odd Chopper, bringing you my favorite bet of the day. It is Tuesday, September 5th. College football week one in the books. NFL week one about to start. In the meantime, we get a couple days to take a step back. Maybe break down a little more baseball and hopefully add a couple more units to the bankroll before the madness gets started with football. But first things first, as I always say, is a greet you every day with this single pick. Welcome to Odd Chopper, all things betting. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I hope you've been with us yesterday. Under in the Clemson game, Clemson was awful, but we don't care. Uh, we just wanted not a lot of points, and Clemson only scored seven. It was an easy win for us. Another win on the total, just a great run. You see it in the description. It's been awesome, uh, and we want to keep that going. And certainly, we're going to try to do that today with the Tigers and the Yankees. I'm going to get to this pick in just a second, but I do have to mention, always, let more money get into the bankroll by just following instructions. Those are the best type of bets. When you know, okay, this is all I have to do. And for Caesars, it's just that. New users, click the link below. Take a bet. Bet 50 bucks. Maybe you bet it on what I'm going to bet here. And win, lose, or draw, $250 in bonus bets is coming back to you. How is it going to be deployed? $50 bonus bet each week. So you wake up each week, boom, $50 bonus bet for five straight weeks. It is that simple. It's a great way to get some extra money in your bankroll. If you're winning, it could be more money. If you're losing, it could be a way to chip away. And hopefully get into the green. You got to be 21 plus. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Here we go. Tigers, Yankees. Keep it real simple. I think the Yankees are going to get it done in pretty easy fashion. At minus 110 for that run line, I'm very happy with it. Oddchopper.com. You can shop the line. This is in range. Let's talk about these teams. It's not the most spectacular series in the world. We'll keep it short and sweet today. We've got a 63 and 74 Tigers team. 34 and 34. They're not going anywhere. They were never going anywhere. They're a middle-of-the-road team, and I don't have a lot to say about them. Alex Fayeda on the mound for them, 2-5, and five, with a 4.89. Couldn't really break into his splits. His, his road splits were very good. It was like 15 innings pitch, though. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with him. They had him pitch uh, a handful of pitches against the White Sox, just one inning. Normally, he'd been going, you know, four or five innings. He's not going to go deep into the game. If the Yankees can get to him, uh, even better. If not, uh, again, there's still ample opportunities because we'll get to what the Yankees are doing. Obviously, the big concern here is we are backing a home team with a total of eight, and it's juiced slightly to the under. So we know the margins are thin. We know there's a lot of 2-1, 3-2, 4-3 equity in this game. Those are all losers. We can't have that tonight. But I also think there's a lot of ways where it doesn't end like that, certainly more than minus 110. So we've got Garrett Cole on the mound. That guy is awesome. We know this. 12-4 and four with a 2.95. He hasn't been Superman lately, but he's still been very, very effective. And honestly, just, I mean, you can find trends with anything, let's be honest. But I was looking at his home starts in particular. The Yankees have given him support. Five of the last six home starts, they've won by two-plus runs when he's on the mound. Uh, he did get rocked in his last one against Boston, but I'm not too worried about it. I trust him immensely. I've trusted him immensely all year. It's actually been a pretty good spot. So I just look at him at home. And, you know, the Yankees... I kind of, I don't want to say buried the lead because it's not the lead. They're playing better. 68 and 69, 36 and 33 at home. Obviously, realistically, you know, the time to play better was probably a couple months ago, but they have really looked good. They had a 10 game road trip uh, and they went seven and three, took three or four from these Tigers. They've played some good baseball lately and now they come home. I always like to back that split when I can get it. A team off a long trip like that, who was playing pretty well. Now they get back to their ballpark. With a team like the Tigers coming in, it seems like a perfect recipe with your ace on the mound against Fayedo. I'm going to call for the Yankees to get it done here. I think that they just have the advantages, again, playing good baseball. And I'm not worried about Cole whatsoever. Even in a low total game, give me the Yankees minus a run and a half at minus 110. Before I leave you guys, I do want to just give a quick shout out uh, to everyone who's been supporting the video. Everybody who's hanging out. Everyone who's hitting the like button. If you have questions, at Jazz Raz DFS. And then, of course, if you want more than one bet for me or for all the members of the team, hop in our Discord. Our Discord is here. It's available. You don't just get one person. You get a team of us. We're in there. We're hanging out. We're making bets. We're sweating them out, complaining, cheering, all that good stuff. The link is below. So if you want to be part of the community and really kind of align yourself with our vision here at Odd Chopper, just hop on in. We will welcome you with open arms. The more the merrier in there. It's a good, good time. But... That'll do it today again for me, for the New York Yankees, for all of you guys. Have a good Tuesday. Rest up because football will be here soon enough. Plenty of content on the way. But in the meantime, let's get it done.
then we'll do it again tomorrow.